Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is the second part on this video, so if you didn't watch the first one, you might want to watch that. So the person that emailed me wanted to put a um, contour line, a cut line, around this eagle. So the best way I know how to do it, this is all grouped together. Set your nudge factor on like 10 inches, grab it, Press your arrow key one way to the right. Now it's completely out of way. Now this is all grouped together because you can move it around. And we don't really want to move it around because we want it right back where we were. So what you can do now is to ungroup, ungroup it, uh, select it all, and go to create a boundary. Change the boundary to red. Now let's move it out of the way. And there you have a complete cutout of the anchor and what he wanted. So now you put that back. Grab that. Put that back. And now this is ready to cut out. I don't really 100% understand what he's going to do. If he's going to maybe inlay this with different colored woods. And... Uh, but there you go. So you can move, you know, my suggestion would be to move the items that you don't need out of the way. And if you do it with your, you know, if you put your nudge factor on 10 or 5 inches or, you know, any any amount to get it out of the way, then you can uh, draw a contour line around that item and... <laughs> have it cut out so maybe this is what he's going to do he's going to engrave it out of maple have it cut out and then inlay this with walnut and then maybe have this uh, well let's just kind of do that see what it looks like let's say he's going to use this as we'll just make it kind of a walnut color and then he's going to put Let's make it a little blonde wood. So maybe that's what he's going to do. He's going to cut it out, uh, have it in maple. You know, maybe have this part in walnut, embed it in some maple, and then have a walnut ring. I'm not sure, but anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.